so so on the money, um, there is a formula under which the money would be distributed to drivers. Um, it's it's in proportion to the amount of miles that drivers have logged on the Uber platform, um, with certain types of weighting. So drivers in California get a higher weighting than drivers in Massachusetts, and the reason for that is that. Um, well, California law is very different from Massachusetts law. The, the law in California, the wage laws in California for this type of claim are actually the best they, they are anywhere. And the reason for that is California has a special law that, that is unique in the country. No other state has a law quite like this. And it's called Labor Code 2802. And it requires that an employer reimburse an employee for all expenses necessary to do the job. Um, most people don't seem to realize this if you're not a lawyer practicing in this area of law, but uh, that's that's a pretty unique statute. Um, you don't you don't see that anywhere else in the country. And it was because of that statute I was able to bring this case here in California, arguing that Uber should have to reimburse drivers for its their expenses. And I was arguing that should be based on the IRS rate, which is approximately fifty something cents per mile. Uber was arguing that would be way too much for the drivers to get reimbursed. I, I think Uber has said that throughout its history it's actually made something like nine cents per mile and how could they possibly pay back fifty cents per mile. So they were going to argue at trial even if we had gone to trial and even if we had won on that they were going to argue that the reimbursement rate should be much lower than the fifty cent IRS rate I and mean, that was another thing that we were facing even if we won the trial. But anyway California has that law. Massachusetts like the rest of the country does not have that law. Um, but the reason that I also brought a case in Massachusetts is not just because I'm, I'm I live in Boston and um, represent a lot of workers in Massachusetts, but I've been I've been working for about the last ten years to try to establish through our court system a similar legal principle that expenses should be reimbursed by employers. And even though we don't have a law on the books in Massachusetts that says that, just like California law does. I've been working through various cases to try to get that principle established in the courts. I have not completely gotten there. I've gotten close, <laughs> but I have not completely gotten there. I've, and I've been trying to get it up to our highest court, the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court, and I came very, very close in the FedEx case, but for complicated reasons, it, did, it got taken away from that court. Anyway, it's a very long lawyerly explanation for why the drivers in California are going to get more than the drivers in Massachusetts because you have a better law on the books than California than we have in Massachusetts.